Hello, and welcome to the Ink Ribbon stream. We will be starting very soon. Hello everybody, how's everyone doing? I'm so excited for this mod. Ah. Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for everybody. <laughs> Alright, let me make sure my mic is working. Pretty sure it is. Make sure my sound is working. All right, I think we're ready to get started. So let me start it up. Uh -huh. Toss a Come on, Streamlabs, pick it up. I'm playing a game. Detect it. Okay, fine. I'll make you detect it. Technology these days, am I right? All right, sorry guys, just a moment. It was working a second ago. Something is off. What the hell? Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, my, my posters. I'm so excited. I'll show you in a second. Um, we'll do window capture then. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> Making my way down Raccoon City. Gonna play the Kendo mod. Do, 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 do. Okay. Alright. Sorry about that. Let's get started. We're gonna play on easy because you know how these mods can get. Uh, oops. There we go. Oops. Oh my god. What am I doing? <laughs> there we go. Sorry. Ah. Uh, Diamond, I'm actually cutting off all my hair very soon. But it's not cut right now. I just gelled it up because I want it out of my face. But real quick, let me show you guys my posters. So I got Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, and I got my play button. I love it. It's like Ink Ribbon is established as a star. Okay. Man, it's been a while, hasn't it, guys? I'm sorry that I was gone all last week. Whoa! Um, I was actually in San Francisco and doing some other... Oh my god! Doing some other work. Oh, uh, Hylian Geek, thank you so much for the five pounds. I uh, watched Bach play this the other day. Oh boy. You're in for a big treat. You're gonna have a blast. I'm so excited. Like... I've actually rewatched that's the the first Kindle stream I did a couple times just to see the moments that got me again because oh my god like I'm one of those people that loves parody movies and like like the scary movie movies and you know dumb humor like that so this is just it's like the stars aligned Uh, Ernesto, why is Resident Evil my favorite franchise? You know, I've asked myself that question so many times, and I don't know. Like, I really don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> it's just... Oh, uh, here we go. What's going on in this town? Don't you worry, girly. You'll be safe in here. 
What are you doing? I thought you were one of them. I'm keeping a close eye. But I don't have a clue. Sorry about that, baby. You'll be safe in don't you worry, I don't worry. Okay. I thought you were one of them. Hold on. You'll be safe in here. This is as far as I got, just to play test it and make sure it worked. And this is so creepy. I'm keeping a close eye. I don't have a clue. Sorry about that, baby. You'll be safe in here. Don't you worry, I don't worry. I thought you were one of them. Hold on. You'll be safe in here. I'm keeping a close eye on the Oh my god, there's a kendo in the background. Do you see that? There's a kendo right here. Oh my god. I don't know what we're in for, you guys. I just want to watch this cutscene because I love it. That's what happened to the helicopter. Uh, Daniel Dark Magician, member for 13 months. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, hi Kaya, great to see you back. An upcoming Resident Evil board game is coming out. I They reached out to me and I told them, I was like, here's a video of me trying to play the Resident Evil 2 board game. I don't know if I'm the best person to be sponsored by you and they understood. <laughs> uh, who is the best, best gunsmith, Kendo or Rodin? Uh, Kendo, hello. <gasps> oh god. Oh god. <gasps> no! No! Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> uh. My heart. What was that? What? Uh. <laughs> Shot off her ponytail. I don't. Ah! Oh. This will do for. No! <laughs> oh my god, that hit me right in the nuts. That's like the worst. Oh, okay. Alright. Wow. Oh wait, I have to go that way. Oh my god. I do, Emmy. I have like a thing for ponytails. It's one of my favorite things about Claire and Lara and a lot of other video game characters, and now it's gone. But I guess it's better than being shot in the head. I guess I never thought of that. Like, someone could just cut your ponytail off, and then that's that. Or I guess, in this case, shoot it off. Oh, I'm so unprepared for this mod now. Do I like or hate watching my videos or streams after they're done? Um, I usually... Oh, fuck. Hold that thought. I need better weapons. Um, I don't really watch my own videos, but every once in a while, it'll pop up in my own recommended for some reason. And like, uh, if it's something I haven't watched in a long time, I'll rewatch it just to be like, I wonder what I talked about in this video and I'll like see things I don't even remember talking about, you know, like in the Secret City Strikes videos, and I'm just like, wow, that's really cool, I didn't know that. And sometimes I'll watch moments from streams just to, like, remember things that happened and laugh. Uh, I don't know if I want to waste my grenade ammo just yet. 25 facts about William Birkin. 
Oh god, I can't die already. I am not doing well. Wow. I think I'm a bit rusty. Just a little. But this is one of those hallways you do want to clear. Is the sound okay, by the way? Maybe I just need to turn my volume up. Whoa! Back off, buddy. There's nothing left to grab. It was shot off. Leave her alone. Uh, dank for all, yeah, this is the the natural color. I'm waiting for the the dyed part to grow out so I can cut it all off and have virgin hair once more. But I just want to have short hair again. I'm like, I'm over it. <laughs> you know? Alright, I don't think I'm supposed to be over here, but I don't know if this mod has any, like, items or whatever moved around. Sounds good? Okay, thank you. And, uh, cryptic metaphor, I ha I'm not judging the new Resident Evil movie until I see it. I will... I don't know how I can do a review for you guys and, like, talk about it, but we'll... We'll see. not down. <laughs> Duh. Okay, I know where I'm going now. I'll be damned if I'm gonna get lost in this game. Hold your fire. I'm a human. Daniel Dark Magician with the two pounds. I uh, wonder if Kendo shot her ponytail off with blanks. Okay, too soon. Oh my god. <laughs> Safe, everyone. Say it with me. Two, two, three, six. Did anyone hear Kendo moan? <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna head back up and turn off the water, or turn on the water. Uh. Alga MV or Alga MV, this is live. Hello, thank you for tuning in. Uh, my favorite Resident Evil character is probably Claire, Ernesto. But, like, Claire and Leon are kind of a tie for me. They're like, like my big brother and big sister that I never had. Oh no, the ponytail's still there! It's so sad! Just pick it up and glue it back on. <laughs> now that ponytail's gonna appear on eBay. Uh, green Onion. I, I've written, like, enough songs for, like, two albums, but I just don't have the money or the time to have the music produced. So, maybe one day I would really love to do a second album. I already named it and everything. It has a theme. But thank you for asking. I appreciate that. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is Mr. X going to have?
Sorry, my my water tastes like onion. I must have not used a clean glass. It's probably the glass from last night. <laughs> Hashtag just guy things. Stay back. I used to be so afraid of him as a kid. I remember it uh, when he burst through the, um, you know that room where you use the lighter to light the three things and he burst through the wall? I actually remember calling my sister into the room to sit with me because I was so scared. And she doesn't play video games, she had no idea, but she was just like sitting there like, okay, what is this? It was so scary as a kid, oh my god. Someone had asked me if I was gonna do like a scariest moments in Resident Evil, and if I do, that one's definitely gonna be on it. Uh, Radin, yes, anyone can send stuff to my PO box, but you really don't have to, honestly. Like, if you want to send me like a, a card or or something, that's that's all I ask. But thank you. I was about to say, I'm not sure if something's coming. Whoa, buddy, hey. That's not very nice. I need my tactical fish. I thought you were one of them. I'm keeping a close Hold eye on this. I don't know. Who are you? <laughs> That's a good response, Claire. Why Why are there multiple kendos though? Like did he break the space-time continuum or something? Uh, um, let's do some item management. I think that's probably good. Uh, thank you, Christian James. And thank you, Dave. Dave Blister. I put a lot of work into this channel. <laughs> if Ethan can put his hand back on, Claire can put her ponytail back on. Whoa! I agree. Claire definitely has the more powerful handgun. Ah, oh, dick! Not the boots. Man, I'm really getting bitten a lot, aren't I? Oh man, anyone tuning in after the ponytail incident? Oh, I was not emotionally prepared for that to happen. I'm still... I'm still in pain. Ooh, this is using like the upscaled cutscenes. They're such nice quality, wow. What? Okay. By the way, I was looking up the other day, I looked like my usual sources where I try to find all my information and there's no explanation given as to why Leon has a lighter. In fact, there's the opposite, because uh, a lot of people said he probably smoked or something and then quit or whatever, but 
in Resident Evil 4? Yes. No. In some Resident Evil game, someone offers him cigarettes and he says, I don't smoke. So if anyone knows the mystery as to- Ah! Oh, God! The mystery as to why Leon has a lighter. I would love to know. Hello everyone, hello Prisms, hello Princess Robin. Koopa. Koopa. Uh, thank you Travi sometimes, I just wanted my hair out of my face today. <laughs> No ponytail, not good game. Yeah. Worst mod ever. Claire doesn't have a ponytail now. I wonder if she'll get it back. Somehow. I feel like personally attacked that that's in the mod. I, I'm still not over it. I don't think I'm gonna be over it this whole stream. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna be in pain. Okay. Shot the gun. Uh, Saber, uh, Kendo shot her ponytail off. Like, right at the beginning. Oh! Miriam's World. 8833, eight, three. welcome to Bronze. Thank you so much for becoming a member. And thank you for tuning in. Thank all of you guys for tuning in. Including the lurkers, anyone watching and not commenting. Uh, if you're, you're cleaning your house or you're doing something else, working on your crafts while you watch this, shout out to you. I, I am acknowledging and appreciating you. Um, and again, as usual, if I miss something that you typed, please don't hate me, it's not intentional. I'm just, there's a lot of multitasking involved. In fact, I talked about that with, uh, I, I did a live stream with uh, Residents of Evil yesterday. I was like their guest. Uh, we played Outbreak, so if you want to check that out, it's on their channel. Um, super fun. That was actually our first time, like, talking to each other, so that was really cool. Now I just need to do a live stream with Susie, and I'll have, like, hung out. Well, no, me and Susie played Res Resistance one time. So I guess now I've, like, met all the big Resident Evil channels, because we're all super cool. <laughs> I'm tuning in so hard right now. Come on, Claire. Uh, 25 facts on Steve is coming. You lose, big guy. Oh my god, Diamond, stop. Uh, Artie McFly, cool username. Thank you for the $5. Hi, Kai, I've been watching your vids all month, and now I'm a big fan. Thanks for the amazing work. Question, uh, which Resident Evil character needs to return in the games? Thank you so much. Um... Oh, so many characters need to come back. Like, I love Leon, but send the guy on vacation because he's been all over this franchise for, you know, it's it's a bit much now. I want to see Sheva, I want to see Piers, I want to see Billy, I want to see Claire, I want to see Jill. Jill especially. Where the fuck did Jill go? <sighs> okay, I'm calm. I'm you back. Lose, big guy. <laughs> Uh, Daniel Dark Magician, thank you again for the five pounds. Kendo and Ada were in a hot tub and broke the time machine. And Resident Evil 4. Leon. Oh, hold on. It's good to see you're still among the living. <laughs> what happened to your hair? It looks like we're not gonna find your brother here after all. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. But let's split it up, look for, for any survivors, survivors and get, get out of here. 
Right. Right. One last thing. Here's All a right, radio. This cut seems the it. same. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Uh, in Resident Evil 4, one of the police officers offers Leon a smoke, and he refuses, and Lewis asks Leon for a smoke. Okay, thank you. So I was right, Resident Evil 4. Dale, what are you up to? And what Watuk? Watuk? Thank you. For saying that, because I try to... What the? What the hell is that? Leon, did you see that? What is this, Metal Gear Solid? What? Oh god, what is happening? Uh, I'm nervous, I'm leaving. Claire, you could send a fax for help. By the way, if you can receive a fax, it means that the phone line works. Wait, what is that? Oh! <gasps> no! Oh, oh, oh! What do you mean you can't just leave, Claire? Do I need a special gun? Oh god. Quantum gun? Oh Jesus. Oh. My inventory is full. I guess I'll... Yeah, let's at least see what this is. Okay, that's the same. I can't tell what that photo is. Ah! I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to use up. I'm just gonna heal. Probably should have gone for the ammo first. This music is so Resident Evil 1.5. Leon, are you still there? <laughs> okay. I can't believe what is happening to this city. She doesn't even... Well, I guess she just met Leon. But still. <laughs> I love that it makes the sounds of like those dollar store like toy guns. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Don't worry, Froggy Chair. You didn't miss anything. Claire totally has her ponytail, Leon's still alive, and Kendo died at the gun shop. And that's that. Examine the quantum gun. Oh god. Occult SAA with special properties. It's really powerful, especially against interdimensional things. <laughs> it looks like ammunition for a quantum gun. Okay. Already? Oh yeah, it's the second scenario. The 
zombies are naked. Something's not right. Was that their face textures on their bodies? <laughs> oh, God. I will do another live stream with Lisa, I promise. Still don't know which game we're gonna introduce her to next, but I still say that we need to do Resident Evil 1 Remake. I do not care about the quote-unquote censorship of Resident Evil 4 VR. Like, I'm so sick of everybody, like, making a big deal about that. They cut, like, six lines that, to be honest, were kind of cringy. And if you think that they're okay, uh, I can assure you they haven't aged well. I'm not saying that they, they were, like, offensive, per se, but they're not really necessary, and I can understand why they took them out. For example, when Lewis first first meets Ashley, what does he say? He's met, he says, oh, she comes with ballistics. So, and, and Ashley's reaction was how rude. And she's completely validated in that because he basically was like, oh, hey, look at her big tits. And it's like, dude, like, you don't even know how old she is. Like, what the fuck? You know, it's little things like that that it's like, mm, maybe it's okay to leave those lines out. Like, it's not a big fucking deal. And, like... It just really frustrates me because Resident Evil 4 VR is so much fun and all I've heard is people like, Oh, when they censored it, uh, I don't want to play it. It's like, well then don't fucking play it, it's on every other system. <sighs> I'm good, I'm fine, I'm happy. <laughs> okay, oh my god, what am I doing now? The jewels. Wrong way. Sorry, it's just I've been like <laughs> holding that rage in because like the co I stopped reading the comments on my Resident Evil 4 VR video because I was just done. Like people were bitching about that so much and I was just like, I was like I'm disappointed in quite a few of you. Uh, Ernesto, I don't hate Ethan. I've seen your comments. I don't know what you're talking about. Ethan's just, I don't know. He's just there. I don't really hate any characters in Resident Evil except for Chief Irons. I actually do hate Chief Irons. I don't think cutting lines is going to affect things gradually. I think that, you know, overall... Remember, Resident Evil 4 is like almost, what, 10 years old? No. Oh my god, wait. 2004? Oh my god, Resident Evil 4 is almost 20 years old. Wow. But I think that we've progressed as a society enough that it's not going to be an issue in the future. But you have to remember, back then, it was a little bit of a different time. And if you want to take it up with anyone, don't take it up with Capcom, don't take it up with Oculus, take it up with Facebook, because they made them change it. And that's all, I'm not talking about this anymore, I'm done, that's it. I've said what I need to say, I've stated my opinion, and I'm not gonna mention it again, so moving on from that. Uh, Rick, I am part of the, I assume you meant ROE squad? But yeah, apparently when you live stream with them, you become an honorary member, so that was cool. Wait, what am I doing? Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh, I need to go back to the star's office because my inventory was full. I didn't get to pick up something. derp a derp a derp Yes, Dale, exactly. Gaming Karens. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
you successfully ported Resident Evil 2 to PSP? Wait, which Resident Evil 2? This one? I guess it would have to be this one, because I think if you try to run uh, the Resident Evil 2 remake on PSP, it would just burst into flames. Um, I'm going to leave this in here for now. There was something at the window. I missed it. Oh! Oh! What the f- What? I don't like these! Oh my god, what the fuck? These monsters make me uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, I didn't pick up. Ah! My god, why is this scaring me? <laughs> I don't know why that was scary for me. <clears throat> Whoa. Don't forget to save, thank you. Yeah, because we don't know what this mod's gonna throw at me. Although, I'm playing on easy, so I should be okay. But just for fun, we'll save the game. Step right up. Uh, highly and Geek, I want to save the grenade launcher for bosses because. And also liquors. Trying to fight a liquor with a handgun in this game is not a good idea. Let's grab an ink ribbon. To the star's office. Wait, did I just save my game? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> ah. Oh my god, I was just watching uh, while I was eating lunch. I was watching the Try Guys, like, they did like a coffee trivia episode, and I want coffee so bad right now. Leon. There we go. Got the diamond key, diamond. I put you in my pocket. Okay, is there anything else? I think we're okay. Alright, we're gonna head back downstairs. Let's go see what's up, what's going on with Marvin. Oh, you guys want to see something cool? So, I, I don't know if it's come across, but I've been working on cosplay a lot. Um, it's still drying, but check this out. It's actually a, a water gun. You can still see some of the blue underneath. But I can't take this outside because it looks too real. But it is my favorite weapon in all of Resident Evil, so. Uh, Jan Sugetsa, I, uh, Su Sugesta, sorry. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm doing for Halloween. I know that you guys probably want me to play something scary, but I'm still trying to figure out what to do. But I'll, I'll definitely be doing some sort of stream or something. Thanks, much appreciated. Take this. scared me. 
Thank you, Artie McFly, again for the $2. Do you actually own any ink ribbons for real? I have uh, this, which has my stash of gummies inside. And in case I've never shown you, these are my current ones. I don't want them to fall, but... Uh, as far as an actual like typewriter ink ribbon, no. But I have thought about like doing a video where I save my game like for real with an actual typewriter and like load up an ink ribbon, but I was like, that's too stupid. I'm not gonna do that. Because ink ribbons don't look like that in real life either. Aw, oh, Diamond, thank you so much for the nine pounds. Get yourself a hazelnut latte on me. Aw, oh, thank you so much. That's that's the price of a venti. That's a big latte. I'm gonna be like, oh. oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> the sounds. I can't get over it. <laughs> oh god, I'm out of ammo. <laughs> if I ever hear that sound again in my life, I'm just gonna start laughing and no one's gonna understand why. Oh my god, it's amazing. That makes up for the ponytail thing. Okay, diamond key. Yes, this way. <sighs> um, Aeon LC7, uh, that's actually going to be my one of my next videos. I don't think I'll have my 50 facts about Raccoon City done uh, by next week, but uh, I did a, an entire tutorial on how to do a Steve cosplay, and I'm, I know he's not the most popular character. I'm going to do more after that, but you guys can keep an eye out for that. I'm also going to do a tutorial on how I made the... Um, the holster that I wore in my Resident Evil 4 VR video because it was really easy to make and it cost like maybe four dollars to make that entire holster setup. Mm -hmm. Ah! Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sure you guys would probably prefer that and then I've also got uh, eventually making Claire's vest out of a, an old denim jacket. Cause I want you guys to cosplay. I know that you want to dress up as these characters, you know, when, whenever conventions go back to normal and all that stuff. So. Ah! Oh my God, that was so loud. Oh my God. <laughs> what? There's something wrong going on in the building. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I hope you're entertained. <sighs> Wait, I... No, I don't need to go this way anymore. Okay, spade. I've already unlocked all the doors that require the spade key. I think. What other doors? Wait, did he change what keys open what doors? and now I'm like, where do I go? Wait. There's one door that's supposed to be the diamond key. So I'm gonna go check that door.
fuck! <laughs> fuck! Who are you? What are you doing? Here? <laughs> Go get it! Oh my god! <laughs> I need an adult. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't expect to get scared during this. Jesus. Ernesto, what is your deal? I didn't say anything about Ethan. Like, jeez, enough. I'll just search all these rooms because I'm assuming things got moved around now. Oh! Not that room. <laughs> okay. So what does the spade key unlock? Also, where did he go? Maybe down to the basement instead of the heart key? Ah. Okay, we're going to the basement. Alright, so keys are like remixed. Good to know. Oh, I hate these things! I really don't like these things, and I can't tell you exactly why. They just really are... This is some Silent Hill shit. Came to the rock. Ah! This is not Silent Hill, this is Raccoon City! Get out of here! Oh my god, every time I play this now, I always expect there to be a save room in the guard room, or an item box, because I've gotten like the, the remake and the original confused in my mind now. Have you guys ever had affogato? Sorry, I just saw everyone talking about coffee. But affogato is so good. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Okay, time to use the grenade launcher, I suppose. Wait, are there bullets in here? Oh, even better. Up, up, down, up, down. If you know what I mean. So, speaking of Crimson Heads, uh, Seals, uh, I've been playing uh, Darkseid Chronicles, which we're going to have to do a stream of that, by the way, because I have a whole new appreciation for that game. It's so much better than I remember, especially the voice acting, oh my god. But, um, uh, fuck, what was I going to say? Oh, there's Crimson Heads in Darkseid Chronicles in Operation Javier. They're only, like, there, like, in a couple parts. But I was like, wait, what? <gasps> oh my god, Claire and, and Ada le meeting. Sorry about that. 
I thought you were another zombie. My name's Claire. What's yours? Ada Wong. Oh. What happened? I'm looking for some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types, always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? Alright, so AB Solutions, you do have a point I should clarify. They're not technically Crimson Heads, but they're very fast, like red tinted zombies. So I think it's like Diet Crimson Heads, you know? Wait, what did that say? Reference.bmp? <laughs> it's supposed to say. Hold on. Wait. Oh, I can't read it now. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Same girl. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Fuck, I can't. Alright, I'll have to remember that that's there. Oh! Crap, my inventory's full again. I'm definitely taking the side pack when I can. Alright, I need to be more careful with my inventory management. I just realized Claire's in the basement. Whoa, this is weird. Because this is like Leon's area. Oh, nope. <laughs> I need handgun ammo. Mr. X, yes, this is my first player run of this mod. I think this one just came out. In fact, right before this stream, he messaged me and was like, Hey, I saw you're about to play my mod. Make sure you download this new version because I, I fixed a glitch or something. Which was very appreciated. Oh. <coughs> Bitch. Take an arrow to the dick, or whatever you have there. <laughs> I can't even tell. Oh, Hylian Geek 64 thanks again for the two pounds. I'd love to see Resident Evil 1 remake VR being made. Yeah. Actually, uh, so, um, they, uh, when, when I did the video, I ended up cutting it out, but they said I could send the developers questions for Resident Evil 4 VR. And I was like, because I'm playing Darkseid Chronicles right now, and I kept thinking, oh my god, if we could play this in VR, it would be amazing. You lose, big guy. So I sent the question to the developers, like, have you thought about doing any other titles, like Resident Evil Darkseid Chronicles, or any other entries? And they said, we're only focused on Resident Evil 4 right now. And I was like, damn it. But that's not a no. Wow, Dark Hero, thank you so much for the $20. Uh, and for tuning in, Hello Kai watched the Outbreak stream yesterday. Any indie horror games you're looking forward to? Also, last time you showed your game, did you make the environment, or is that UE4 starter content? Uh, I don't remember what I showed. I think I showed, um, uh, like just the block out of the level. 
but uh, right now, because I just want to get the game done, we're, we're just going to start buying assets that we don't need to make from scratch, just to save time. Uh, thanks to Patreon and YouTube members, by the way. Thank you so much for allowing that to happen. Um, so, that's your answer to that. We'll, we'll be making some environment stuff. Most of it will probably be purchased from the asset store. Um, and as far as indie horror games, I know that Elisa's coming out soon. I'm looking forward to that, obviously. Um, Leon, oh. you made it. Oh. Oh. I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were Thanks. another one of Thanks. Much appreciated. Zombies. Take this. Are you Chief Irons? Sorry, Dark Hero. I'll get back to it in a second. That's me. And just who are you? This is the Resident no, Evil fandom right here in this one picture. Me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her, but I failed miserably. Um. Just look at her. <laughs> she was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. Yeah. But it will soon putrefy, and she will turn into a zombie within the hour, like I don't know how all to feel about this. <laughs> there must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby, but no longer. Please. I'd really like to be alone now. Oh, that makes that line so creepy. Um, I, I, I'm I trying to think about any other indie games that are coming out. Honestly, there's so many that I can't remember right now. I'm so sorry, but I promise you, like, we'll be live streaming all of them. Because that's, that's what the live streams are for, to try out all these games. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, I'm not even commenting on the Leon thing. <laughs> Moving on. Sharon? Ah! Uh, hi, Beep. Wait. Thank you for the dollar. Let me go! Thank you for tuning easy, in. Easy, easy there. I'm not a zombie. You're safe now. And I've seen you on the Discord, along with a couple other people, so... Shout out to everybody from the Discord server. My name's Claire. What's yours? Thanks. Sherry, Much appreciated. Do you know where your Take this. Are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant. Oh, uh, Lisa. Near the city it's like she's here with the us. Chemical Plant. Then, what are you doing here? My oh, Elisa's out already. Cool. And told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. But it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me. What was that? That's what I was telling you I knew you Kendo's about. scream was going to be it's in here. there. Sherry, wait. And, and thank you, Beep. That's the most beautiful dog sticker I've ever seen in my life. I love it. I'm going to hang it over my bed. Alright, so it sounds like Sherry just got sucked through like a time portal or something. Oh god. I'm like scared now because there's like jump scares in this one. <laughs> I need the inventory space. Try me, bitch. That's all you got? What? <gasps> Can Claire get the Magnum? Wait. Can Claire get the Magnum? Well, I guess if he can mod all this other stuff, I'm sure he can mod Claire with a Magnum. <laughs> Chief? I still don't know about, like... Naming, like... You guys... Like, the only thing that... 
I don't know. Typewriters? Hey, listen, if you guys want to have a name of some kind as like the Inkruben viewership, then that's on you. You have to come up with it. I'm not I'm not gonna be like, hello my croutons. <laughs> or whatever. Oh, they're eating a liquor. Saber T T A K or Saber Tech member for five months. Thank you so much. This one's for you. Oh, every time there's like a lag in the loading screen, I'm like. <gasps> Um, oops, no. I guess I should probably save my game. Oh. The Inkies. <laughs> Inklings? I think Inklings is better than Inkies. Alright, there you go. You guys are the Inklings. <laughs> I'm not gonna in like start a video with that. Like, hi, my Inklings. Welcome back to my channel. Did you eat breakfast? Oh, heart key. Something in the basement needed the heart key. Oh god, I'm trying to like remember where all these doors are now. It's weird because like you play this game on autopilot normally, you don't think about like which key goes where, you just know. And this just throws a whole wrench into that thinking process. Yeah, uh, Rob, that's why I said Inklings is better because some of you guys call me Inky and that would get confusing. Because then I'll be like, me? You? Him? Her? I don't know. Okay, not that door. <laughs> Inklings are the squid people from Splatoon. Okay, well there you go. I haven't played that, by the way. Oh, it's this door. I remember now. <laughs> Whenever you're in chat, you spitball comments and see what sticks. Yeah, Sebastian, I shaved off my, my beard thing. I still don't know what to call it, goatee, whatever. Uh, because of the Resident Evil 4 video, Leon doesn't have any facial hair. I think I'm gonna keep it like this for a while though. Like, I keep looking at myself in the mirror and like touching it. I'm like, I have a chin again, wow. Um, I don't think I need anything from here, but I'm gonna leave the bow gun for now. Cause inventory space. Oh god, what's gonna happen? Sherry, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was so worried. We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, that monster will find us. Let's go. Who are you? What are you doing here? Ah! I'm keeping a close eye on things. What are you trying to say? Mom, Dad, stop fighting. Oh god, is Claire gonna die in this mod too? Second. Ah! <gasps> 
No, ew, what the hell? This is so weird. <laughs> This is just so... This is illegal. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you hear that? I, I have no words like how do you even think of this stuff you know thanks much appreciated take this uh, thank you Wolfpack Productions for the five dollars you're not joking about the autopilot us original Resident Evil 2 players will never forget the safe code 2236 that makes me so happy because for the longest time I thought it was just me who remembered that code for no particular reason. <laughs> and then it was so upsetting in Outbreak when they they made it a random code and that was only one of the options. Like... How cute. <laughs> Alright, I'm going. That's the correct response. But yeah, when I was playing with uh with ROE yesterday when we played Outbreak, they're like they're like open the safe, it's two two three six, and I was like, that's not that's not always the code, and they're like what? And it ended up being like three five one six, and they were they were appalled. So was I. The chat was angry. They deleted their channel. It was that was it. <laughs> now I get the Dragon Ball Z joke. Oh my god. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> if you've ever seen Dragon Ball Z, you understand why that's funny. Because they do that in that anime. Sucker. Oh, Miss Redfield. Sherry, are you okay? Did you find your dad? Yes, I'm okay. But I couldn't find him. But I did find something else for you. <laughs> Here. Here's another. Part of the fun is seeing your guys' reactions, too. Thanks, sweetie. Now, why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. Claire! I can't reach the ventilation hole you anymore! You can teleport! But don't worry, I'll find another way. I can take care of myself! Wait, Sherry, come back! <laughs> Sherry! Sherry! Sharon, come back! Sounds like Claire knocked out Kendo. Miss me. Damn. Damn. Wah! Oh god, what's gonna be in here? Okay, that's fine, just zombies. Ah, side pack. I need it. I keep running out of inventory space. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, it's just liquors. No problem.
Uh, I'm so nervous, like, I don't know what's gonna pop out or what's gonna happen. Ah, oh, yes. Sweet, delicious ammo. <gasps> what? <laughs> Hang oh, in there. Are you the only officer left in the building? Uh, who are you? Oh, you must be the new guy. Chris. Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother Chris. We lost contact with him over ten days ago. Chris. Jill Barry. Every last Stars team member has disappeared. We should have listened to them. What happened? About two months ago, you there lose, was this big incident guy. <laughs> involving these zombie-like creatures in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other Stars members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything at the risk of their own lives but no one believed we have them. to watch the cutscenes to see what happens like are that. you okay don't worry about me just rescue the survivors in the other rooms the true beauty <laughs> here take this thank you that's what i came here for now go it's but huge it's a backpack just go Okay, just hang in there. I'll be back soon. Daisa, arigato gozaimasu for the 610 yen. Thank you so much. And thank you for tuning in. I hope the weather is nice in Japan. I miss Tokyo. And my Japanese has gotten really rusty. Um... Tokyo ga sundi mashita demo boku no nihongo heta desu. Okay, what am I doing? Alright, we got the key, it's GTFO. Uh, multi. multi drider? Thank you for the $10. Oh god, hold that thought. Sorry. Being rudely interrupted by whatever the hell these things are. With you showing Dire Dire Docs in Psychology of Blue video, I finally got all 120 stars. And now call 100 coin run pulling a gen socket because I keep circling back till I get 100. Alright, well thank you so much for watching that video because I'm really proud of that one. I know it didn't Thanks. get the most much views. Appreciated. Take this. But thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Alright, that's the same. Oh god, do you guys remember this description back in the day? Like, his throat and abdomen have been torn out. Oh god! Backing away from her? Oh, I really don't like these things. Yeah, Japan is very expensive, but just so you guys know this is a thing, uh, teaching English in Japan doesn't really require, like, it's sort of a job that anyone can learn how to do. Um, Usually, they, they prefer you have a bachelor's degree, um, but you can make some serious cash, and it's, it's awesome to just spend a year living in Japan teaching English and experiencing that as like a life experience. I'm not even joking. Oh, I need the lighter. 
I was probably making a, um, something like $70 an hour teaching English. Like, I'm not joking. It is money. Uh, I had this job. I don't know if I told you. Uh, we were called edutainers, and it was this company where uh, you sang to kids on the phone, and sometimes you'd have, like, free conversations if they were advanced enough, and... I have never made so much money in my life. Although the rent was unbelievably expensive. So, oh. Jean Philippe Tremblay, thank you so much for becoming a bronze member. Welcome. Please help your help yourself to some snacks and some drinks. Oh, I've got an idea that I want to do. Um uh I don't know when I'll get to this, but I want to make like a little game that uh, Ink Ribbon like, members or Patreon people can play that's sort of like a virtual Ink Ribbon lounge that you can go to. So like it'll be like a first person game where you're just walking around and you can like, you know, there's drinks and snacks and music and you can go into different rooms and there's like unlockable sections if you collect things. I don't know, I'm still thinking about it, but I think that would be so much fun to design. Oh damn it, I had an inventory space. Ugh. Well, whatever, I still need the lighter. Mm. Alright, that should be okay for now. Hey Gantz, K. Kanoto, welcome back. Long time no see. Uh, Michael Scott, I I can write like hiragana and katakana, but I can't do kanji. Kanji is like a whole, like kanji is the reason that I I just can't learn to read Japanese because it's like I don't know how people do it. It's a very very difficult language to learn. I don't recommend it because <laughs> like you'll just be learning it for the rest of your life and never be perfect at it or even good unless you're just adept. But if you've got kids and you want them to learn Japanese, that's the time to start. Because kids' brains are still malleable, you know. They learn things a lot easier than adults do. You know what's really annoying too is I would... My brain would go into I'm not speaking English mode. So there's so many times in, in Japan where I would revert to Spanish. And it was just confusing for everyone involved. Like they'd ask me a question and I'd reply in Spanish without realizing. Because my brain, like... Like, my brain process went, this is not English, go to foreign language, oh, Japan, that phrase does not exist, Spanish. <laughs> then it's like, what? That was so annoying. Oh. Hi, Su Aya. Konnichiwa. Doko ni imasu ka? No, doko ni... Wait, I forgot. Oh no, I forgot. I forgot how to say it. I'm sorry. I was gonna ask where you where where you live, like what part of Japan. Thanks, much appreciated. But I don't know how to say it. Take ah! this. <gasps> that scum. Oh. No. <gasps> Sorry about that, babe. Kendo! Watch where you're Wait. fucking aiming! Thank you, multi Drider, for the five dollars. Uh, uh, Would you agree with me that the RPD first four theme is very creepy and unsettling? Yes, but it's also very sort of regal, and it has a sense of, like, calm despair. I don't know, the music is just beautifully done. Even this theme that's playing right now. Okay, cog. Wait, I never got the crank. I didn't even go to the library. 
Or at least not up the stairs of the wall. Oh, I need the crank. Hmm. <gasps> Alright, I'm not doing this with you guys right now. You used to live in Tokyo, now you're in Toronto. Okay. Well, listen, if you speak Japanese and English, like, really well, that's an amazing gift to have, so appreciate it. Because, yeah. Me and Lisa were talking about that, because she's, like, half Japanese, but she doesn't really speak Japanese very well anymore. <laughs> Japanese.exe stopped working. Oh, Elegons, thanks so much for the $5. Stop sending me money! I We talked about this, but thank you. Sending positive vibes to my favorite gamer. Thank you, I feel the positive vibes. They're gently massaging my neck. <sighs> okay, positive vibes, tell me where to go next. Because this whole thanks. game is Much out of order now. Take this! Okay. I went the wrong way, so I'm gonna go to the library and I'll, I guess I'll go up the stairs and see what's up there. I think I might have to have a Pepsi break soon. And you guys all get to try it with me. I got a new Pepsi because I'm curious. It's a, it's like a cream and red box and it says like cream soda, or soda shop, uh, cherry, black cherry something. I'll need to read the can. I'm, I'm placing my order right now. Just push a button and it gets delivered. It's very convenient to have around. Wait, didn't I do this? Why is this reset? Oh, I didn't take this. No, stop sending money. Alright, we're pausing for a Pepsi break. So this is... Wait, where's my camera? This is... Soda Shop Black Cherry Cola. I don't know what the... Ah, I was right. It doesn't have... Uh, uh, corn syrup. It has sugar. So let's see how this tastes. Let's do live taste test. Like suddenly it's a mukbang. Mmm. Oh my god, it almost smells like cherry and lime. Whoa, it's so red. Look. Alright, let's see how this tastes. I got all the fizz up my nose. Hmm. It doesn't taste like Pepsi. Wow, it's really dark red. It tastes more like like cherry soda versus like Pepsi with cherry in it. You know what I mean? It's like really cherry flavor. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, I don't know if I've ever told you guys I fucking love cherries. Mmm. Hold on. One more sip. Uh, okay. Delicious. Yeah, real sugar is, I think, better than high fructose corn syrup. Although I don't think it matters. I think it really comes down to what calories you're consuming. But that's not a conversation for today. This is the first time I've had a soda in like two weeks. So, <laughs> as long as it's in moderation. Damn it, I do need the crank. Or I need a square dick. I don't think Claire has either of those. Anything over here? Nope. Alright, where do you guys think the crank would be? Am I missing... somewhere? Oh, I'm like, where are items... Cranks in the dog cell. Ah, oh, thank you. I totally forgot to go back there. But 
but it's not too far from here. Thank you, Demono Python. This stream is not sponsored by Pepsi. Uh, <laughs> weirdest thing I ever bought in a vending machine in Japan. There were, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> there were weird vending machines, but I didn't buy from them. There was a used panty vending machine in one of the porn shops. Uh, one of the coolest things I got was a, um, I, I, I was looking for it the other day and I could not find it anywhere. I need to find it, but it's a little PlayStation controller that's super detailed and it's like this big. And it, uh, it's meant as a phone charm. It's gotta be somewhere. God damn it, diamond. And seals. <sighs> Oops, wrong way. Oh my god, you guys, if I ever got sponsored by Pepsi, that'd be crazy. Because I'm not even, like... <laughs> it's like a rare treat. Oh, Susie Spear Hunter's in the chat, everybody. Hey, Susie. I don't know if you've played this mod yet, or or either of the Kendo mods, but if you haven't, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh! guys the other day I saw Susie Spear Hunter and she was wearing army pants and flip-flops so I bought army pants and flip-flops what the I was like, you lied to me. Okay, let's go. I can't believe they shot off Claire's ponytail. I have not mentally recovered yet. It's a manhole. No, Susie's not Regina. Or is she? <laughs> By the way, Susie, that uh, that 25 years of Resident Evil video was amazing. Like, I had all the feels. Cause like, I mean, it's it's crazy how much this game has affected all of us. Not just, like, content creators, but all the people that play it. And, like, I don't know what it is about this franchise. It's like, it just captured something that I can't really explain. And, like, you know, wow. It's ingrained in our DNA at this point. <laughs> the most important limb is the ponytail. Yeah, Susie, when's our collab? Do I prefer Resident Evil 2 or Remake? Ah, that's really hard. I don't think anything's ever gonna replace the original Resident Evil 2 in my heart. You know? Damn it, I keep always going the wrong way when I'm trying to go to the library.
I'm sure the Resident Evil 4 one will be great. I love, like, that's another thing is how, like, all of us, like, Resident Evil content creators, we all do different things. Like, we all have our own, like, flavor of content. Which is also great, because no one's, like, stepping on <laughs> anyone's toes or anything. I don't know, Susie. It might be very soon. I guess people just have to wait and see, won't they? It's almost like there's a super collab happening someday or something, but I, I don't know anything about that. We can only dream, right? Aw, oh, Dale. Thank you so much for the 10 pounds, buddy. I hope your cat is doing better. Give give Odin some pets ah, from me. Ah! Hello. Was it you who rang the bell of awakening? Are you okay? <laughs> um, I'm... I, oh. It's like, can I just take the, the piece and go? Thank you. Here. This is what you're looking for, you go for, back right? to the waiting room? Very well. Now, be still. I'm assuming that's like the same- Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh god. Goodness gracious. I don't know how to feel after that. But I am gonna save my game. Oh my god. My brain. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna try to say Roland Jehan M. Elako. Thank you for the 25. Uh, currency from your country. Thank you so much. And thank you for tuning in. Yeah, I have to find out what that sound clip was from because it's got to be the same voice actor. He sounded just like him. Is it pesos? Claire. Or pesetas? Sherry, you're okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. Oh, Dark Souls reference? Yeah, that's why I've never played Dark Souls. Because I like to play games to relax, not to create additional stress for myself. Claire! Claire! I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? Pesos, okay. Thank you, Roland, for the pesos. Muchísimas gracias. To call that an umbrella cord. Huh, no cutscene there. Oh god. <laughs> so you've made it this far. Not bad, girl. I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up! You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! Thank you, Mortem. You must know. It's the agent that can turn humans Oh, Philip into the Philippine peso. Okay, my bad. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. Dr. William Birkin is the genius behind the project. William Birkin? I'm sure you've already seen this little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry. Isn't it? 
In case you haven't already figured it out, the monster that's been tearing my precinct apart is yet another product of the G virus. An Here, ultimate this bio. is what you're looking for, right? Wow. I must be trying to cover its tracks. Thank you so much. Just a second. I have to go. I'm going to take you with me. What the? Here we go. Something's gonna happen. Leon! The true beauty. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> um Oh, this is so incorrect. Okay. Uh thank you so much to Victorious FIG for the twenty dollars. Random but it amuses me to imagine Sherry using the voice of an older Brooklyn gentleman <laughs> white. Oh, Claire, you've come back. Wait, I don't know if that's Brooklyn. <laughs> it's an old gentleman, though. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And thanks for tuning in. <sighs> I should leave them alone. I, I'm just gonna go. This is weird. <laughs> I need to sit down. Or I, I'm sitting down. Never mind. Finally, a normal monster. <laughs> Something that we're just used to, that... Ugh. Hi, buddy. How you doing? How are the kids? Back and she's be like, Sherry, don't look. I just, I have, I don't even know how to react. <laughs> it's just weird. Claire, you came back. I can't believe the man who developed the G-Virus is actually her father. I know. Can you believe it? Oh my god. What's wrong, Claire? Ah! Run! Okay. Alright, AB Solutions. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a good rest of your day. Or night. Or whatever. Hey, Claire and Sherry have the same haircut now. Sherry, don't look. <laughs> or listen. <laughs> I love that Sherry does that thing when, like, if you run too far ahead, she just gives up all hope and sits on the floor. It's like, really? Get out of here. Okay, so Mr. X is dead. We haven't seen William yet. There he is. I'm keeping a close eye. Claire? Ew, the eyeball. <laughs> the eyeball's Kendo's Run. face. <laughs> Whenever you least expect it, Sherry's just like, nope. What was that? <laughs> All round gamer, thank you so much for becoming a bronze member. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome.
they're just wrestling, Cherry. Sherry should not have the manhole opener. She's too young for that. I will say, bugs don't really bother me, but cockroaches that big jumping on you would freak me out. Sherry handles it a lot better than I would. Hey, the manhole opener's gone. Uh-oh. I hope Claire didn't need the manhole opener, and I just took it. I may have just softlocked the game if that's the case. Oh god. Hold on. Victoria's FIG again with the $10. Thank you so much. On a scale from 1 to a shirtless Leon eating cheap irons. <laughs> Are you enjoying the mod? I would say a shirtless... Let's just stop at shirtless Leon. And I'll say I'm, I'm there. Because <laughs> I, I don't know about the rest. But, yeah. You lose! Big guy. These mods are just fucking hilarious. Alright, I'm gonna save my game on a separate save file just in case I did softlock the game. Oh, I used the manhole opener to open the vent. Okay, good. I was worried about that. Okay. Thank you. Um. Alright, let's go. Wait, I need ammo. Never mind, just kidding. Oh, Ada got shot. What happened? You're bleeding. Justice uh, for Leon. Just hang in there. Uh, uh, no. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh my god. Kendo's heavy. Oh, he's gonna think Claire did it. <gasps> Wait. <sighs> Thanks for the help. Don't you worry, girly. How did that not hit her? It's a shotgun. Hold your fire. I'm a human. <laughs> Oh my god, perfect timing, wow. Thank you, multi Dryder, for the $5. <laughs> Would you like to see a remake of Resident Evil Survivor? My skin was nothing short of perfection. Because I like the game, but unlike RE6, I'm very sympathetic to those who complain about Survivor. Well, actually, um, Aiden Watkins, who does a lot of really cool Resident Evil mods, is turning Resident Evil Survivor into a, a game like this, where instead of first person, you can, like, walk around. So, um, that's coming soon, and I'll be, I'll be live-streaming that when it's out, if that answers your question. Um, I think Survivor could be a really cool thing to do, like, especially with VR. Um, it has potential. I'll say that. Oh! Okay, I need the lighter. I'm really not used to the second scenario. And I'm gonna need the inventory space. Okay, I got herbs right there. I'll be okay. Okay, there's only one liquor. 
I like how Leon has died. Oh, I needed to come down here. Good thing I did. <laughs> but there's no ammo! I like how Leon has died like, I don't know, like six times throughout these two mods. I can't wait for you guys to see the 50 facts about Raccoon City. I've been learning so many things that I never knew that I'm like, what? It just, it's taking me a while because, like, I, I didn't used to do this, but since my channel has grown, uh, I've sort of accidentally become like a voice for Resident Evil in the community. So now I have to like triple check to make sure that everything I'm writing down is accurate and true. Oh! Um, uh, okay. <laughs> well, I don't know what's going on anymore. I just don't question anything in this mod anymore. Man, a Silent Hill and Resident Evil crossover would have been epic. I think more games need to do that. Like, imagine Claire and Harry running into each other, and at the same time, they're like, have you seen a little girl? <laughs> Hi spiders, we miss you. Whoa! I do want to try Gun Survivor 2. Because that one's like Code Veronica themed or whatever. Here we go. Another spy sent by Umbrella, right? Let me think. You're here to steal my husband's G virus, aren't you? You are delicious, I'll give you that. You are delicious. Husband? I still can't believe then I thought that's what she said met. all these years. Sherry's mother? What? <clears throat> Sherry's wandering around alone in the sewers. Oh my you god. You have to help me find her. That's impossible. I told her to go to the police station. What's she doing here? William will be after her. William? That's right. The creature that's been causing all this destruction is none other than my own husband. Dun dun dun. We've seen that cutscene so a million those times. Rats were the carriers of the virus? As a result of his virus induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. I ain't got no clue, darling. I tried to save him, but I'm afraid it's already too late. But... And that's not even the entire story. Every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other life forms. That's why he's after I remember Lisa's reaction to all this. What are you trying to say? The bodies of individuals with non-related genetic coding are likely to reject the embryo. But since Sherry is his daughter, that possibility is non-existent. It's an inherent survival instinct. It's Sherry! You go that way. I'll go home. And multi Drider, I didn't know that there was a glitch. The one you're talking about for the greenhouse. I do know there's a glitch where you can get past the plant, if that's what you're talking about. Oh yeah, technically Dead by Daylight gave us a Silent Hill Resident Evil crossover, but, you know, sort of. Oh no, I hope I don't die here. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. Um, just for fun, I'm gonna take these herbs with me. Because I don't have any health. Oh boy. 
Hey Shiro, I'm good. The entire city was infested with zombies. But are you alright? What happened? I ain't got no clue, darling. <laughs> Oh god. They can fly? Stop what clear? Oh god, now they're flying and they're on fire. 45 seconds to reboot. Ugh. This music is so intense. Oh, shit. Evil Ryu, uh, as I've said, I will, I will talk about it after I've seen the movie. And hello, Siege 1977. Thank you for lurking for a long time. Come on, wake up, Sherry. Oh, she didn't get infected. I forgot about that. It only happens in Claire A. Leon B. Uh, my stomach. Never mind. It hurts. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Come on. Let's go. Don't worry, Sherry. There's a bathroom on the train. Or the tram, I mean. <laughs> Sherry's gotta poop. <laughs> like how everyone's like, I looked away for one second, and now everything's on fire and flying. Oh, Sherry. That's right, Sherry. You just sit there and think about what you've done. Uh, Everson, I am in the U.S. And uh, I live in California. Gotta turn off the fart fan. I am going to figure out how to set up my Wii so that I can stream. It's not about setting it up on the computer, it's that I need to be a certain distance. Like, I can't play the Wii, like, this close to my monitor. I might have to stream from my couch. I really wish I had someone to like play Dark Side Chronicles like with me in person. But that's okay. We'll get through it. Every time 
was a lag. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I agree. I regret all the things I've ever said about Resident Evil 6 being bad. That game was just really underappreciated. Oh god! Leon, you made it. <laughs> um, what? You're safe now. <sighs> oh god. Sherry, are you okay? What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. Oh, my God. Sherry, wait! Ah! Okay. Sherry, did your mom give you something called G-Virus? I really don't have anything. Don't worry. You'll be fine. <sighs> hmm. I think I need... I think I need a priest. I'm reevaluating my life decisions right now. Ew, is she gonna stay like that? Come on, <laughs> let's go. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. oh my God! What the hell? Wow. This is not okay. Spark shot. Sherry, god damn it. Get up. <laughs> Shendo. <laughs> Where is Leon? Did he climb this ladder with his like one arm and one leg? Sherry, wait here. I'm going to check it out by myself. I okay. guess he is muscular. I'll wait here, but hurry back. We can never show this mod to Lisa, you guys. She's gonna be horrified. <laughs> oh, jeez. So we can't show Lisa because she's going to get confused and be like, I don't remember that in the game. 
I don't think she even knows what a mod is. Bless her heart. Okay, here. Oh, no. <gasps> what? But... Oh, God. This is kind of creepy. They're like ghosts. What's gonna happen? What are they? I don't. Ah! Oh. And she still doesn't have her fucking ponytail. Wait. What? What? What's happening? Hey, wait! Claire, you made it. Have you seen a girl around here? Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? Why does Leon sound like know. a chipmunk? But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. <laughs> what? Don't worry, Claire. Your knight in shining armor is here. Steve? See you around, Claire. Wait! I'm having a great time. Oh, look at that. Look at that ass. Oh, God. Get away from me. I don't understand what's happening. Like, I... This is amazing, but I'm so confused. I'm taking more ammo with me. Something's... Something's not right here. You guys, I... I'm feeling so many emotions right now, and I can't even tell you what they are. Wait, what? That's creepy. Excuse me. Uh, ah! Uh, well, just like we were talking about, there's the, the crossover. I'm too sober for this. I think I am too. Oh my god, could you imagine if I decided to do this for a gummy stream? And then I was just like, I'd just, I'd be crying right now or something. What the fuck is that? It's like a weird chicken dog. Oh my god, is it the Sasprin commercial? Can we watch it? This is so weird. I feel like I got sucked into a parallel universe or something. Steve! <laughs> Okay, okay. Steve, behind you! Oh, God. Ugh. It's all my fault. Steve. Wow, Steve cannot catch a break. What is this? I think those are Steve's legs way back there. But they're like showing up through the background. Who 
Who are these guys? Is that Brad? Oh my god, it's Brad! Just letting them bite me, because it's easier to deal with that way. You guys, what is going on? Hello, Albine from Sweden. Oh, great. Now there's birds. Oh, my God. Okay, so it's doing like that loop thing where if you go through the wrong door, it starts you back at the beginning of the room. I actually have a segment like that planned for my game. This is so weird! So many things are being broken in the cannon right now. I can't even... No! Help me, Leon! No! Oh, God! What the fuck is that? No! Was I supposed to die? Oh, no! I didn't have any chance to do anything. No. Ah, I need a sip of Pepsi. I think I need to call my mother. Resident Evil. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, damn it. I'm all the way back here. Okay. So, now I know what to expect. I'm gonna take a lot more stuff with me. Oops. Alright, I might regret this, but I'm gonna leave this special gun thing behind. There was a save room, so I'm gonna save when we get to it. Wow, you guys. <laughs> I'm glad that you were all along this ride with me, because what the fuck? Yeah, sorry Claire Redfield, I didn't mean to kill you. Alright, well now we know where to go. I'll try to get through this quickly. Yeah, I thought I was supposed to die, because that was... I mean, you saw that. I had no chance to really do anything. Let's see if I can get past... Elsa. Oh, shit. Fuck! Alright, I'm just gonna... Quantum gun might work for her. Oh, thank you. I just, the alligator, like. Oh, it's the alarm from Silent Hill. I just realized. Hey, wait, <laughs> Claire, you made it. Have you seen a girl around here? Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. What the I'll fuck? go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. The alligator's so cute with Leon's voice. It's like a way cooler version of Barney. Don't worry, Claire. Your knight in shining armor is here. Steve? You're a See you around, Claire. Wait! on anything that makes you say, what the heck is that? Uh, 
Uh, Saber, yeah, I've got another Resident Evil 4 VR video coming. It's like part two. Because I recorded enough footage of that to do like two videos. Because I was editing the video and I messaged them and I was like, this video is almost an hour long. And they're like, yeah, maybe cut it down. What even got him? Ugh. It's all my fault. Steve. Okay. I'm not even gonna waste my ammo. Wait. Hey, I didn't get to save. And I don't have the special- Ugh. Fuck, I think it just fucked up, didn't I? I'm sorry, everyone. I thought I would get to... I must have missed the room. Well, I hope regular ammo works, because that's all I've got. No! Help me, Leon! No! Jesus. Alright, I gotta concentrate. Thank you, Doc Benway, for becoming. Oh, for being a member for four months. Wish me luck. I did it! Oh. Sucker. What the fuck? Like, what the actual fuck? <laughs> yes, Claire, put your hand up her nose. What? Oh my gosh, she got her ponytail back. And she's blonde what was now. That? Wait a minute. Whoa. Clerza? <laughs> hey, I'm here for it. Let's do it. Alright, okay, guys, we're playing as Clerza now. And Sherry left without us. No! Sherry! <laughs> Trashly. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> sure. Claire, no! Claire? Clarza? Stop! Don't Bye. jump! What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. It's not what never and I've got to make my decision. This time to be Oh my I'm playing right now. If this a mirage I just to fulfill my mission. I'm living in a dark land. What the fuck is going on? guys are you seeing this like are you guys all experiencing this with me or have I completely just lost my mind <laughs> this is amazing
<sighs> wow. <laughs> and there's Claire landing daintily with her helicopter ponytail. Or, I'm sorry, Clarissa. Are you okay? I can't believe what is happening to this city. Oh my god, you guys. I'm sorry I've been quiet, it's just... That's not where? Oh, oh God! <laughs> oh, Jesus! That's okay. You keep it. I'm sure it'll keep you this safe. This is the best thing I've ever streamed. Thank you, Claire. Even though I'm nothing will ever top child, this. I'm deleting my channel after this stream. Never spent much time with me because of their work. I grew up alone, but now that you're with me. I finally have someone to rely upon. Thank you, Pat's daughter, for the five dollars. Can't wait to watch this from the beginning. Big guy. Hope you enjoy. Have a great weekend. Love you. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend too. Thanks Sherry. for stopping in. Rest here for a bit. I'll be right back as soon as I found the antidote for you. She needs something. God. I feel like mentally or physically like something is wrong with my body right now after experiencing all this. <sighs> Alright, I'm just gonna ditch the handgun because I haven't been finding anything for it. I'm definitely saving my game, so I have to do all that all over again. Although I am saving in a different slot because at some point I'm going to want to go back and revisit that with my therapist. <laughs> Alright. I don't think leg biting even does damage in Resident Evil 2, does it? <laughs> None of this seems weird. Yeah, it's fine. so quiet. Wait, this room's always quiet. Never mind. Damn it, the fuse is not here, though. But the sandwich-making robot is. Don't worry about ammo. Yeah, well, I'm on easy, so it should be okay. since like the 70s. Enjoy them. What? That's supposed to burn it. Oh, I guess I have to hit it directly. Bam. Bitch pudding. 
Yay. Worth it. Hello, Solid Fire 93. Welcome. <laughs> I'm joking about the 70s, by the way. Every time I make that joke, everyone thinks I'm serious. I'm not that old. Umbrella. Oh, okay. My inventory is about to be full, cool, though. <laughs> yeah, I meant the 1870s, duh. Oh god, hello? Hello, hello? Are we back? Testing, testing. Okay, I think... I think the connection's back. Oh my god. I'm still traumatized from all my previous times that things have disconnected. We're back, okay. Hi everyone, we're back. We apologize for the delay in your service, but thank you for your continued support here at Ink Ribbon. Did you know we do salads now? Yeah, I just saw a little thing pop up. It's like, your chat's been disconnected, or er, your stream's been disconnected. I was like, what? Do you know how much I pay per month for this super fast internet that's supposedly amazing? You better reconnect. Okay, uh... Vaccine. Wait, can I even get out of here? If you ship me with Resident Evil characters, I don't know. I think that's weird. I mean, I do that, like, in my head when I'm crying in the shower, wondering about my life, but, like, I don't want to do that publicly. I'm just kidding, I don't cry in the shower. I just think a lot of weird thoughts. Stay back. God, I hate the mutated lookers. Also, I don't know if I'm like a ship kind of person. Like, for me personally, I think I'm more of a fr uh, friends with benefits kind of guy. You know, like, call up Claire and be like, yo, Netflix and chill? <laughs> or Leon, whoever. Oh, God. Uh, Ross, it would be the other way around, honestly. <laughs> I know that surprises some people, but... Anyway, I don't know why we're having this conversation. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, big boss incarnate, what's up? I'm just like checking all the doors because I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh god, this is the self destruct room. What's gonna happen in here? I don't even know how to prepare. You guys ready for whatever's about to happen? Because I'm not. Dark Hero, thank you for the $10. Do you know you recently found out that it's a tracksuit that Claire wears underneath? Really? Huh. Because I've seen, like, I've been watching some 90s stuff, and in so many animes, girls have what Claire's wearing, where it's like something underneath, like shorts, like a, almost like a wetsuit or tights or something. Also, favorite Resident Evil knife. Awesome. Thanks again. Well, now we know. Oh. It's already destroyed. Ooh, what's this? Oh, there's the fuse. Oh god. Marvin! Damn it, I forgot to go back for him. 
<laughs> That's true, we didn't go back for him. Oh, come on! No! Stop! This is... <laughs> Leon. Okay. Okay, so now Marvin fell in. And now sure. You murdered my husband. I know what you. Oh God, what's gonna happen for? to Annette this time? What? Huh? That's impossible. <laughs> what the hell? No. Don't stand Lord. close to the edge. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel Dark Magician, for the five pounds. Please keep your hands and feet inside the ink ribbon at all times. Mm. It's weird when I say it. Thank you for playing with Pat Morgan Enterprises. You have to leave the T and G virus free. Indeed. Nobody wants either one of those. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, fuse. Oh god, are like Marvin and Annette gonna like combine into something? I don't know what's going on. I kind of want this mod to be over because like I'm kind of traumatized at this point. Like, I'm just gonna play the rest of it, like, quietly sobbing, like... <laughs> it's buffering? It says my connection's fine. So close to the end, it can't cut out now. Okay, so it's buffering for some of you, I'm sorry. On my end, it says everything's fine. It says excellent connection. Ah, <sighs> I still want one of these in my kitchen to make sandwiches. You just push a button and it makes you a sandwich. Could you imagine? That's the future technology I want to see. guys, I can feel it. We gotta reach the thrilling conclusion. Um... Hi guys, long time no see. I love the Ivy monsters, I think they're so cool. Oops. Not poisoned, very good. There's the giant vagina plant monster. Can't wait for my reaction, oh god! I don't even- I literally can't even predict what is going to happen. Because it's so batshit crazy. <laughs> that liquor didn't drop down. Ah! Oh. I 
got the choice to be a Resident Evil monster, what would I be? Hmm. I don't know, lickers kind of get to run around naked and lick things. That's kind of fun. Um... I don't know, that's a good question. You have to really think about, like, the pros and cons, though. Hmm. I'll just say liquor until I think of something better. Maybe you guys can help me. So there's a subreddit called Tip of My Joystick, which is like tip of my tongue, and it's like when you can't remember a game. There's this game, I wanna, oh shit, I need the key with a tag. Um, I wanna say, yeah, I'm gonna go get that real quick. It's, um, it might be DOS, MS DOS, but I think it's Windows 98. Um, it's this game, where like you're like there's planets and you shoot like a missile and it like blows up a circle and like destroys part of a planet and I can't remember what it was called it came pre-installed on my computer and I never learned the name of it so if anyone knows what game I'm talking about that would be greatly appreciated that's the best description I can get the explosions kind of work like missile command for the Atari That answer says a lot about you. Check out my OnlyFans. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, it's pretty much the opposite on my OnlyFans, but anyway. Um... No, it's not asteroids. I think it was multiplayer, and it was like, you're supposed to blow up your friend's planet and you take turns, but I didn't have any friends to play with, so I just played it by myself. Yeah, tip of my joystick sounds weird to say out loud. Alright, we got the vaccine. For Cheryl. You know, I'm actually surprised no one's done a Silent Hill mod of, like, Resident Evil, because, I mean, with all the crazy mods that we've seen, you think someone would do a crossover. But you should be safe inside here. Freeze! What? <laughs> Who's that? Ooh. Kendo? Who are you? <laughs> Hold on. It all started 23 years ago on September 28th. It was I was a peaceful gun shop owner that one day met a rookie officer during a zombie outbreak, Leon. One thing led to another. And while he died, I became a time traveler. I used my power to prevent the Raccoon City outbreak, and we destroyed Umbrella. Then I decided to expand my professional career. So I learned everything I could about the Greeks. <laughs> Met some important people. <laughs> and defeated a few gods. Then I became president of the USA and Russia. <laughs> My unfortunate decisions led to a nuclear war which altered space-time and created a damn multiverse. At first I thought that helping myself in other universe was wise, but it only made things worse. I decided to fix it all by killing my young self. 
but it was not that easy. All the kendos I have saved have gathered in this place, and I have to kill them all on the same night, or everything restarts. Wow, the, the lore. I turned some of my enemies into zombies, and sent them back in time to infect some kendos, so that they were easier to kill. I've spent years trying to do it, and tonight it all ends, thanks to your help with the special guns I left for you. Let's finish this. Wow. That actually makes sense now. That explains the ponytail thing I did back there. No, it doesn't. If we split up, we'll have a better chance of stopping it. Don't you worry. I'm keeping a close eye on things. Oh, God. I'm not doing this, by the way, it's automatic. is Kendo. I didn't even know Claire was doing all that on her own. This music though. What gun is this? Ooh, infinite. This is so cool. It's so vaporwave, I love it. Clarissa, let's go. What are you doing here? Sherry. Oh yeah, we forgot about Sherry. Wait. Well, I mean, it's not really Sherry, I think. I don't even know. Five minutes until detonation. I need to find out if I think it's Resident Evil Nemesis 30, the creator of this, if he's got a Patreon or something, because I want to support this. I mean, it's funny and everything, but the amount of work... God, I can't hit them. Well, I'm not injured. And I can't aim downward, just so you guys know. God, they just keep coming. Oh! Good 
goodness. Starflight? Oh, I'll have to look it up. Hold on. Starflight. Oh my god, I think that is it. No, it's not. Wait. <gasps> I think it is. Okay, I'll look that up later. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, back to the game. Thank you, Danobot26. I think that is it. I recognize the title screen. But I'll let you know later. <laughs> I can't believe she's carrying... Oh, God. Wait here, okay? I'll go and get this thing moving. All right, I'm actually gonna head to the bathroom real quick. Be right back. I like how that fits perfectly with this mod, like it's not even out of place at all. Alright. Uh oh, alright. That's a clue to pick up the gun again. save my game. What's gonna happen? Because I can't. Oh, okay. I guess we're just leaving now. Oh, thank you, Jane Croft. I have a chin. What was that? I don't have a clue. No. No. Steve, don't worry, Claire. Your knight in shining armor is here. Oh. You wish. My God. Oh God. <laughs> 
That's pretty cool though, like having Steve there like that, that's pretty awesome, not gonna lie. Um, Alright, I think we're okay. I'm just gonna leave. He says that Sherry will be okay and that there's only one Kendo left. I should take care of him. Oh no. What are you doing here? I don't want to kill shoot. Kendo. I'm a human. Ooh. Sorry about that, babe. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I ain't got no oh, clue, no. darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Do I really have to kill him? He has a bow gun in this universe, so... What does that mean? Oh, he has to die by the zombies. Res Evil Nemesis 30, as usual, gold, based on Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I don't know if this is copyrighted, so I'm gonna turn that down. Wow, this is crazy. Man, to all the people who worked on this, I'm telling you, like, this is a lot of work. <laughs> Leon's naked torso. <laughs> Nikki Poundtown, thank you for the five Australian dollars. At this point, is Umbrella really that bad? Yeah, we, we're realizing it could be much, much worse. Can I move? Oh, no. Okay. All right, let's bring the volume back up. In case there's any post credits. Oh, that's it. All right. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was Kendo's mod, uncut. Fantastic addition to the series and this is kind of cool like i kind of look forward to the you future of this where the modding tools guy. get easier to use and people are just making their own sort of like crazy out there fan fiction like not just funny ones like these which i hope there's more of but like the real serious mods like this is so cool i just i love it so much oops nope don't go into the demo screen that always crashes things ah oh, okay guys um, I think that is where I'm going to end the stream. Um, I will have beautiful dreams now. Yeah. Whew. Okay. All right. Well, that's, that's that. Uh, I am going to go rethink my entire life, but I hope that all of you guys have a fantastic, uh, week, weekend day, night, evening, morning, whatever time it is for you. Thank you to everyone who tuned in, everyone who donated. Thank you so much. And uh, just to tell you what I've got going on, I'm going to do my Steve Burnside cosplay tutorial video, and then I'm going to do 50 facts about Raccoon City. I don't know which one will come first, but before all those, I do have part two of playing Resident Evil 4 VR. I'm not able to live stream it 
I mean, I can, but I won't be able to interact with you guys. Actually, uh, I don't know if any of my mods are still here, but uh, I I got the idea to have uh, my um, uh, Bluetooth like earbud, and then I can be chatting like voice chatting with one of my mods who can be reading some of the like chat highlights to me if you guys want to do it that way it's the only way i could think of where i could have someone telling me what's going on in the chat but uh we'll we'll get to that when we get to it because i'm about to reach the part with the regenerators and i'm so scared and i know you guys probably like to see me freak out but anyway um cool all right all right so diamonds here yeah we'll we'll talk about that later but um also the discord server the ink ribbon discord server is open it's free to everybody it's a great online community if you need a place to call home and hang out with cool people who are all really nice um the links to that are in the description but again i'm going to end this here thank you so so much for tuning in and i will see you guys next week oh halloween special next week whatever we end up doing all right take care everyone